This team still ain't won any playoff games. Where's my damn hockey? Yo, everybody ain't know him. Can't get my head. And I'm just finished watching the Sixers play the Celtics. They fall to 0-2, 102 to 92, and it stinks to be 0-2. But it is what it is. Now, I wanted this game, man. I wanted to beat Boston Celtics on the home opener. I thought it would have been a great statement game. But the only thing that we can take out of this game is that we stink. Okay, I'm over-exaggerating. But it was a very frustrating game. You know what I mean? Um, I thought Joel Embiid struggled mightily, mightily with his shot. Um, I want to see Joel Embiid post up. I want to see him down low. I want to see him post. I want them to get him the ball down low where he can get easy buckets because nobody, nobody can stop him. And I think he's out way outside too much, taking way too many outside shots. He was 0 from 6 from 3-point range. I mean, 0 from 6 is bad. You know what I mean? That's as bad as it gets. But I want to see him Go down low. I don't mind that he comes out and takes a three-point shot. I don't mind he takes outside shot here or there. But he gotta, gotta, he's got to play down low. That's where he is unstoppable. But as much as he struggled, okay, and he did struggle. As much as he struggled, and this was one of the worst shooting nights I remember seeing MB play. He still finished with a double-double. The guy still finishes with a double-double when he struggles. He had 11 points and 14 boards. So... They gotta find ways to feed him down low. They gotta find ways to get him the ball and get him going. Um, I definitely want to see that going forward. Now, yes, we're 0-2 and it sucks, but it's a long season, very, very long season, and we can't panic. It's not like football where you're only you're only playing 16 games. You got a lot of games to play, so things will be okay. We gotta relax. We gotta get some chemistry. We gotta get these guys playing together, and everything will be okay. You know, now. Tomorrow night, they're at Toronto, and Bede wants to play. I mean, I know he wants to play back-to-back -back games. They're going to sit him. I agree with sitting him. No need to play him right away this early in the season. Don't wear him out. But at some point as the season goes on, he's going to play back-to-back -back games. But right now, I think we can wait, let him rest, bring him along slow, and bring him along right. That's what I would do as far as him playing tomorrow. One thing I didn't talk about was the referees. Now, I know the Sixers aren't going to say that the referees were bad and all that kind of stuff, but they stunk. They were horrendous. I could not stand the refs. I thought they stunk. They're not the reason why we lost, though. Okay? The reason why we lost was guys like Embiid struggled, we couldn't hit, and Boston started hitting everything, everything in the fourth quarter. They were hitting everything. They were on fire. But the rest were horrible. I mean, I thought literally Pete Morelli was coach was refing the Sixers game. It was that bad. It was that bad. But it had nothing to do with a win or a loss. Now, Ben Simmons, he had 11 points, 11 rebounds. I think he had five assists. Another double-double in his second career game. Two double-doubles in a row. I love Ben Simmons. I love him. I can't wait till he gets his shot. I thought there were opportunities where people missed getting him the ball. I think the one thing that you see really quick and real early in this, you know, on this team is they got to have chemistry. There's a lot of new guys playing with each other and there's they're not used to it. So they have to build chemistry. They got to get used to playing with each other. And I think that's going to be a big thing. And I think that was a big thing in the first two games. So that's why I'm not going to get too, too down on it. But Ben Simmons, I just think he's a difference maker. I, I, I He definitely needs to get a shot, though. He needs to be able to become a better shooter. But he's a difference maker. He makes people around him better. He finished with 11 points and 11 rebounds. So then we have Fultz. Now, Fultz coming off the bench. He struggled, I think, again a little bit. I mean, he did some good things, but he only had six points. I think he had an assist and three rebounds. So there was one nice feed. I believe he had the Embiid that was really nice. I just think it's going to take time with him. I still think his, his free throw shot is ugly, but it's going to take time. Then you have Redick. Redick, we brought Redick in, hit the three-point shots. He was four from seven, 19 points. I thought Redick was outstanding. I thought Redick was the best player on the court tonight for the Sixers. Uh, look, this is why you brought him. 
he'll pay dividends as the season goes on, especially with these young guys and telling them what to do and how to play in, in certain situations, you know, for the for, for the team and for the games that they're playing. And I, I thought he was great. I love having Reddick. I'm very excited that he's here. Covington had 20, 12 points, I believe. Now, there's one thing I want to say about Co Covington. He's very streaky. We know that when he gets on, he can hit everything from anywhere. It's just the way it is. But one thing I think is underrated about Covington, and I'd like to see more of, is I'd like to see him go to the hoop, especially when he's struggling with his outside shot. I'd like to see him drive more because he does it pretty well, and I think he doesn't do enough of it. So I'm hoping that as the season goes on, he'll drive to the hoops more, especially when he's not on and he's struggling on a shot. Um, Sarge, Sarge struggled. Sarge had a bad game, in my opinion. He had nine points. Nine, they have nine points? Yeah, I think he had nine points. 10 rebounds, and he just struggled a lot of, a lot of couple times. He tried, he tra traveled like two or three times in that game. It was kind of crazy. So he struggled, and overall, my overall assessment of this game is you got to play more. This team has to play more. They have to build chemistry, and you have to play JoJo down in the post. Let him go to the post, feed him. Run everything through him because he's the man. He's the stud. I think in two games he has like 27 rebounds, okay? And he's not even in condition yet. He's not even playing top notch. He struggled today. He still had a double double. I want to see everything go through Embiid. I want to see them continue to play, continue to gain chemistry, and everything will be okay. Now, he's not playing tomorrow, so you're going to have to deal with it. Uh, Stauskas and Okafor, no minutes. Hopefully, they'll get some minutes tomorrow. And hopefully, I mean, going into Toronto is going to be a tough game. So, we'll do. We'll see what happens. I mean, we're really hamstrung not having Embiid, but it's early. So, overall, Sixers fall to the Celtics. 102-92. We fall to 0-2. Very disappointed to lose a home opener. But it's a long season. Got to keep fighting. And with that said, I hope everybody has a great night. Take care. Talk to you later and don't be a dingbat.